Now to the immigration battle on Capitol Hill. The House preparing to vote on two major bills next week as debate rages over the administration's policy of separating families who cross the border illegally. Our chief national affairs correspondent, Tom Yamas, he is near the border in Brownsville, Texas, at the country's largest licensed shelter housing undocumented immigrant children. Good morning, Tom. Michael, good morning to you. That shelter is just behind me. If it looks like a Walmart, that's because that's what it used to be. It now houses boys from the ages of 10 to 17 years old. They spend 22 hours a day inside of that facility. And for the first time, we were part of a small group of journalists allowed inside. What we saw, they are nearing capacity and space is now running out. What do you want? Justice! When? Now! Several House Democrats joined protesters outside the Customs and Border Patrol headquarters, demanding an end to the Trump administration's zero tolerance policy, which has led to families being separated at the border. That's not right. That's not, right. That's not fair. We have to say something. We have to do something. Even one of the president's biggest supporters breaking with him, evangelist Franklin Graham. I think it's... Uh, Disgraceful, it's terrible to see families ripped apart, and I don't uh, support that uh, one bit. And overnight, ABC News learning a change could be coming. House Republicans set to put two immigration bills to a vote, dealing with border security, the wall, and a possible path for dreamers, but also a provision prohibiting the separation of children and parents at the border. And so many people have been asking what happens to those children once they're separated from their parents. Well, they're brought here to a facility where they're taken care of by the federal government. This is as far as our cameras are allowed to go. You can see it says keep out private property. And this facility is so big, it used to be a Walmart super center. And this is what it looks like inside. This footage shot by the Department of Health and Human Services during a tour we took of the facility. This mega shelter is nearly at capacity, close to 1,500 boys, 10 to 17 years old. Since May, nearly 700 children have been separated from their parents. At this facility in Brownsville, children are allowed two calls a week and are allowed outside only two hours a day. From what we could see, for the most part, the shelter is well staffed. The children are taken care of. There are a lot of activities to keep them occupied during the day. But one can only imagine, Robin, what it is like at night when they are alone in this strange facility away from their parents. The average length of stay now at facilities just like this across the country is 52 days. 52 Robin. days away from their families and sometimes longer. All right, Tom, thank you very much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.